Hey, welcome back to Solvin's Garage. Today on this episode, we're going to see if we can get this old Ford 8 in to run. As you saw, we drug it out of the field, sat there many years. Uh, I was told around seven, maybe seven plus years, not for sure exactly on that. And uh, But we're going to see if we can get this thing to run. Got still sitting here on the trailer. Haven't done nothing to it since I uh, drug it home. Um, so let's see if we can get this thing to run today. And not really sure what's going to happen with it, but uh, let's give it a shot. All right, give you all here a uh, walk around of this thing and kind of show you what's got going on, and this we'll go from there. As you can see here, this is the part here that might scare me the most, but uh, got the uh, carburetor was left off of it for all those years, and so was the exhaust man, uh, exhaust pipe there, but nothing was covered in up or nothing. So uh, we're just gonna have to. I'll probably up taking that exhaust manifold off, and you know see what make sure no mouse nest has gotten there or anything like that or mud daubers and building nests so we'll just have to find that one out as we go but we'll have to start there before we uh, even think about trying to uh, crank this thing over as you can see it, uh, it ain't too bad a shape it's got a little bit of rust you know here and there in some spots but I mean nothing that couldn't be fixed up front tires are very usable this rear tire here actually held air. It don't look too bad. It's got some dry rock cracks, but not too bad. This here is probably the worst part on the whole tractor. It, uh, the rim here, you can tell, is just rusted, gone. Had fluid in the tires and just ate it up over the years. And Definitely have to get a new rim for this side. Might be able to uh, find some good used ones. Not sure on that. Up here, don't look too bad. Same rust on this side, but uh, a little bit more solid on this side than the other side. Uh, got the grill for it. Uh, he did have that and the like brush guard thing and bolts on the front. So uh, let's see if we can get this thing running. All right, first off, start here. We're gonna soak all these bolts down with some lubricant here. See if we can get, you know, we'll get this intake taken off here in a little bit. Let's let all this stuff kind of soak for a little bit while we do a few other things and. Don't know if they'll really do much, but let's have to see. Let's spray these spark plugs down up here. Them soak. Might go ahead and spray these head head bolts down too. Like I said, I don't know if this is going to do much. Usually, you take a bolt out, it really ain't. That lubricant really isn't down all the way on the threads, but can't really hurt anything. And uh, we'll just have to uh, see what happens with it. Soak all this stuff down really good here. Can't hurt a single thing. Might keep it from rusting a little bit more. All right, had these four bolts here soaking for a little bit. This uh, exhaust manifold slash uh, intake manifold, it's all made in one piece here. Let's get these four bolts out here and uh, see what we can find behind it. Who knows what maybe built a nest back here. Nope, that ain't the size I grabbed. Was that so rusty? Nope, it's been changed over the years. Let's start over here on this side. Let's see if we can get these broke loose without breaking them off. Nope, there goes that one. Let's see if we can get these other ones broke loose. There's that one. Let's see here. You know what, these, is that one there the same size? Yeah, I can't. Yep, I just want one to go on there. Man, what is the deal with that? Let's see here, let's go ahead and get a socket for that one there and see what size that is first. Let's see here, is this the size? Yep, that'll fit that one. See if it'll. Oh, yeah, that thing is fairly loose. One nut off. I just can't. 
Well, there goes my socket rolling off the trailer. Just can't get this one get started on there. I might have to persuade it a little bit and tap it on there. Use my trusty hammer here. There we go. I got on there now. I know this ain't a hammer. I'm just too lazy to walk up to the garage. Oh yeah, there we go. Second that's off. On this third one. This last one's a little tight, but it's just been on there for a long time. It's coming off though. Could be coming bringing the whole stud out, I'm not sure. Well, dropped it, but got it off. See here, let's pull this thing off here now. Let's see if it will. Oh yeah, got it off. Let's see what's living up in there now. All right, got that manifold off there. It don't look as bad as I was really thinking at all. There's uh, you know, a little mud dauber's nest there and some grass on the outside, but that's nothing. But honestly, all of these look good on the inside except for this one here on the back. I don't know if you can see it up in there. There's some dead stink bugs and some kind of nest, something made up in there. But luckily that valve looks like it had been closed the whole time. I haven't really spun this engine over at all. We spun it maybe uh, barely even like a half inch of that. So I think it looks like it's been closed because we were just making sure the thing wasn't stuck before I bought it. But, uh, you know, uh, what's out to get a blow gun. We'll blow that thing out and, you know, have to put it all back together here in a minute. Here's the exhaust manifold here. Don't really look like nothing's been living in it too bad. I just had to clean it out. Yeah, I'm really shocked nothing was uh, nothing was living up in there. So uh, let's get that cleaned out up there and put this thing back together. All right, got my air hose here. I'm gonna blow these things out. Like I said, I don't think they're too bad. So let's just. Uh, well, let's see what comes out here. Yep. Oh. Just make sure all the all the stuff's gone from up there. Let's see. Oh yeah, that thing looks really good now. Yeah, I mean this engine actually looks pretty good here around the valves and stuff. I mean, I don't, I don't want the head off. Can't see down the pistons or anything, but uh, you know, we're not gonna go that far with it right now. But uh, we're just gonna clean this thing out. You know, the guy that told me I got this from said it'd been rebuilt years ago, but it had very low hours on it. So, you know. It, it actually looks like it probably has been, so uh, there's hardly any like carbon buildup in there or anything like that. So uh, let's get get this thing put back together here. I might blow this exhaust manifold off and uh, put this thing back together and start from there. I have to get the carburetor, build it back on, and uh, see what happens. All right, got this uh, exhaust manifold here halfway cleaned up, blew it out real good, wiped off the services a little bit. So uh, sprayed the threads out there, some lubricant. This maybe help us some, not for sure, but let's get this thing put on there and uh, get assembling this thing and hopefully have it run for too long. We'll see. Just like that. Let's get the nuts, put it on it.
Okay, after seven seven a simple task, this took me way too long. So I kept getting jammed in there, but uh, we got it on there. So uh, let's get this carburetor, get it bolted on there. I'm gonna leave the exhaust off for right now. Um, make sure the thing fires at first. I think that muffler's full of like mouse nests and stuff like that. Uh, let's get this carburetor. I'm gonna do a half clean on it, put it on there, and just you know. Try to put this thing together if I spend much money on it first. It's, you know, I'm going to put more money into it than I have to if it don't run. So let's go from there. All right, got the carburetor here. Guy gave it to me the other day. He uh, had it off the tractor, had it laying around somewhere. He said he soaked it in some solvent shortly after uh, he had taken it off. Just never got it put back on. But we're going to do a... Uh... Oops, dropped my can. We're going to do a general rebuild on this thing. Alright. That's good enough for now. It wasn't really a rebuild, but, you know, just spray out some carburetor cleaner. We'll put it on and, uh, See, I mean, it really don't look too bad again. It looks like this thing's probably been rebuilt in the past and uh, probably wasn't used very much. I'm sure something is probably sticking, maybe the needle or something, or who knows if the float's any good. But don't look bad by looking at it. But we're just gonna put the thing on there and see what happens. All right, got the carburetor here. As you can see, we get this thing bolted on, and uh, you know, just just gonna put the thing together and see what happens. Linkage here hooked up on it. Real simple. It's got this like sliding spring loaded catch on it for the throttle. Gasket on this thing went very reusable for this thing, so we're just gonna put it back together and hope for the best. I'm gonna have to rig up a gas tank on this thing though, because I don't have the fuel bowl for it or nothing yet, so it's the one thing that's missing on this thing. So, uh, but I'm just gonna rig one up, run it to this line here sticking out. It's made for a little filter and, you know, we'll just have to see what happens because I'm not, like I said, spending no money on this thing until I have to. Alright, let's get these bolts tied on here on this carburetor and uh, see what happens. One side. And the other side so uh that's on there it was a pretty simple thing i wish everything was that easy but it's not but uh i guess now i need to rig up a gas tank you know i'm just hoping all the ignition stuff on this thing's okay i'll probably have to probably have to rig up a wire or something just for right now because i don't have a key to this thing and it looks like it's all messed up up there but uh so let's get that figured out and hopefully it'll run all right, before I do anything else on this thing, I'm gonna crack this drain plug here on this oil pan, and I'm not gonna drain all the oil. I know it don't sound that smart since it's set so long, but it looks really clean, and uh, it's at the correct level, but you know what? I'm gonna double check that there's no water setting under this oil in this pan, so we're gonna crack this plug, but not all the way out, see if the water runs out through the threads. If not, no, we'll be good, but I'm gonna do the same thing also here before I go any farther after this do the same thing with the transmission and the hydraulics back here I think there's two more drain plugs but uh, let's get this loose here and see it's got a big square nut drive on it here adjustable wrench that's half stripped out the things who knows how old man All right, there we go. Now let's see here. This thing come out a little bit. Oh. Nope, I don't see no water. I actually see oil. Yep, there it goes. It's dripping. I don't know if you can see or not on the camera, but you know what? It doesn't look, it don't look too alpha bad at all. 
I think we're just going to let it be. I'm going to tighten this back up and we'll move on to these back ones. Alright, here's the one on the, uh, I think it's the transmission part. Let's get this thing loose and see what's what's in there. It's actually not enough. It's actually got a hex head on it. Hopefully it'll come loose. Oh yeah. Gasket's all coming apart though. Let's see, we got any water? Usually if you got water, it'll drain out for the oil. And it's looking like it. Let's see here. Yep, there goes some water. Let's see how much comes out of this thing. I don't know if you can see it now there on the camera, but it's uh, streaming out pretty good out of there. About like right here. You know, my fear is, is set outside, get water in there. Could be a crack or something somewhere in this thing, but, you know, I looked it over pretty good before I bought it, but, you know, could overlook something really easily. All right, after draining for about a minute or two, start to finally get some oil out of this. So I'm going to tighten this thing back up. I'll have to change these fluids later on, obviously, if this thing runs, but for right now, I just want to get the water out of it. All right, I got this one back here on the hydraulics. We're gonna see what it's, if it's got anything in it or not. Uh, feels a little bit tighter. I think this is hydraulic slash rear end maybe or something like that. Fluid, let's have to see. Could be wrong on that. No, it's that's straight oil there. That's surprisingly that that don't have uh, water in it, huh? Well, right, let's get that thing tightened up. And move on to something else on it. Alright, before we go any farther with this thing here, I need a battery. I'm just going to throw a battery in this thing. You know, see if we get any kind of cranking out of it. Maybe I don't know if the starter's any good here. Who knows? So we'll have to see here. I'm going to take the starter out of my other tractor here, this Oliver I got. I don't have extra battery laying around, so uh, let's pull it out of that one real fast and we'll throw it in this one. Alright, let's see if this battery fit up in there. I have no clue. Looks a little big, but we'll see. Let's hook his terminal up here and see if we got any kind of sparkage or anything. You never know. No. It'll be bad water this thing crossing, grounding out or something. Nothing so far. So let's uh let's see if this thing will crank in a second. Alright, let's see if I, I have no clue up here what uh what is what? It looks like there's a key switch here. I obviously don't have a key, but you know what we might try doing? Uh, I guess I gotta start hitting some buttons here and see what happens. Make sure it's in neutral, it's in neutral. I just wanna see if I got anything. Nothing with that button. Probably need a key on first, but usually these things are crank. Even if the key's not on, usually the key's just for the ignition. But, oh! Well, I guess I was wrong. There's a push button here. That key must be for this. There. I guess somebody's bypassed this. Uh, this here's like a neutral safety switch. That really needs to be hooked back up because, uh, yeah, I think the wire there is cut off of it. But I could be wrong. I might not have wire going to it, but it sure looks like it. I'm not for sure how these really work. But uh, this here, you push it, it actually cranks. So, uh, my battery sounds a little weak. So I'm going to go get my jump box. 
show you some starting flow in that thing and see what happens. All right, got the jump box hooked up to it. As you can hear, it's much faster now. I got this little wire here I made up. I'm gonna try, hopefully this will work. Just take this ignition switch here. I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna just put this little wire in here. I know it ain't fused or nothing, but you know what, I can just pull it out if it starts. Let's get that jammed in there. And uh, let's go squirt some starting fluid in this thing and see what happens. All right, I got some starting fluid here. I'm gonna spray some of this carburetor and we'll just see what happens, so let's see. Yep, right there, it took off off of that, so I think this thing might run, so uh, we'll just have to see what happens here, and uh, I might try to crank on a little bit more here, and you know, see if I can keep it running at the starting foot for a few seconds. Maybe. It hit off at one time, but not since then, so let's see what's wrong with it. Alright, still no luck with this thing. Uh, got my voltmeter here. I'm going to see if I'm getting power to the cool first before I go much farther. I got a spark plug too. We can take one of the wires off, see if we got spark on that. But, uh, you know, let's just see what happens. I got a feeling there's something going on with ignition because. A little wire I rigged up, now it's like arcing almost whenever you stick it in and out. So, uh, let me stick that in there. I know that probably ain't right if it's arcing like that. Let me stick that in there and we'll see if we got 12 volts. Well, we surprisingly we have 10.7 volts, so I would think that would probably be enough. It's probably where my batteries are low on that jump box is too. I've been cranking on it, but, uh, you know, I guess now I'll check for spark and we'll see what happens. Alright, I got this used spark plug here. I keep around for stuff like this. Sometimes you gotta check stuff out like this. So uh, let me get these wires pulled off. Spark plug in here. Lay it on something that will ground to so it'll spark. Nope, no spark. Let's try another wire. Nope, no spark. So I'd probably say either it cools went bad, uh, condenser point, something out of the strippers went bad. But luckily, I got a Ford 9N setting over here, and it runs, but it's got a blown head gasket, but it runs on like two cylinders. But luckily, I can pull some parts off of that. I think I got a couple other parts laying around where I've patched that one up in the past. So uh, let me grab some of them and, you know, I guess I might start the easiest thing before I take that distributor apart. And, uh, you know, once I take them things off, put points and uh, condensers in. I mean, you can do it on the tractor, but man, they are tough. It's on front the engine, it's just sandwiched in up there between the radiator and the fan and all that. But uh, the coil is about the easiest thing to change. So I'm going to start with that and then we'll uh, see what happens. So let me grab some of those. All right, let's see if we can get this coil off here now. It's kind of hit up here, like I was saying. It's got a 5 16 nut on top of it. It's got one wire that goes to it. It's got like a, kind of like something you see on a brake master cylinder, like a little clip you pull over top of it, holds it down. And here it is, pretty simple to get off. Uh, you know, let me go see if I can find my other one. All right, got the uh, new coil put on. What well, ain't new, but as a used one, I had laying around. Luckily, I had one. I didn't take one even off that other tractor. But uh, let's hook this thing up. Squirt some more starting fluid in it. 
We'll see what happens. Still nothing. Guess let me check for spark and we'll start there again. Well, I just tried that and uh, I had some spark out of it, so uh, I don't know why it's not firing. Give it a shot again. Oh, hear that? Try it again. Yep, I think it's gonna run. Yep, right. What's I probably need to keep out on the oil pressure though, see if we got any oil pressure first. So let's see if I can get the thing to start and I'll watch this gauge up here. I can ram a battery and jump box down, so I have to charge that. All right, I want the battery charge a little bit. I don't want the jump box on right now, so we'll see how long this lasts. But uh, let's see if we can get this thing to fire over again. I don't know. Let's see. off that one time again same old thing so uh let me go with the jump box try it again finally got another battery i just went took one out of my truck that one's just going to put on the charger for the rest of the day probably but uh let's uh hook this thing back up and see what we got this time spins a whole lot faster So what I done was I couldn't get the, this carburetor is probably going to be rebuilt. I mean, figure that. But uh, I took this bottle here I had, squirt some gas out of it, and uh, what I'm going to do is I, I took the needle. It, it's so gummed up. I think the needle's stuck in that carburetor. It's all rusty. So I took the screw out for the adjustment, and then I can uh, squirt some fuel down into the bowl. So uh, I did that. I got the hit off a couple times, but I didn't get it to run very long. So let's. Uh, Let's try this out, see if we can get it to run. I saw the oil pressure gauge finally pop up a little bit. So, uh, like I said, I didn't have it run very long, but at least know it's trying. So, uh, let's give it a shot and see if this thing will run, how well it will run. Hey, it ran after uh, seven plus years of setting. This thing 
finally took off and ran. It had around 35 to 40 psi oil, and uh, I think that's plenty for this probably small engine. At least it has some instead of any. I was afraid that first there that this thing probably wasn't going to have any, but probably just gummed up from setting over the years. So, uh, well, now I need to probably get a carburetor on this thing and stuff, but let's see if we can get this thing to run a little bit more. Alright, well after seven plus years of this thing sitting in a field with the carburetor off of it and uh, you know those intake holes just wide open and the exhaust, this thing actually started. I'm not going to drive it today, this will probably be about it for this video today, but uh, you know I'm going to get some more parts, get the uh, carburetor worked on. I might just take it off that 9 in over there and uh, you know use it. But uh, for right now, I'm going to have to get that swapped around, run a gas line. I'm going to get me a, a fuel bow on order and uh, maybe clean that gas tank out a little bit. Just make sure there's no junk in it and stuff. And maybe next time we'll make another video with this thing and get all those parts on there. And maybe get me a rim too and put on the back of this thing. We'll actually maybe drive it the next time and uh, see how well this thing actually does. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.